If you ask somebody if they like chicken wings, they always respond, like chicken wings? I love chicken wings. And look, this is what we're making today. Oh my gosh, they're fabulous. They're flavorful. They're tasty. They're absolutely delicious. I'm going to show you how to make these guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to eColor. Today we're doing chicken wings and a buffalo wild wing sauce. Um, before we get started with the recipe, you guys are going to love this. Um, we first have to deal with these wings because today I bought these guys all like attached. Um, you can get them already all separated and oh my gosh, it's so easy, but it is expensive and it's just a whole lot cheaper to get them all together. But you know what? You could just cut them up and get yourself some sharp cooking shears. And this little, this little wing here, you, we're not cooking with this. You can discard it or like you can save it for uh, like, you know, chicken stock or something later. So I'm just kind of discarding those for now and separating the drums from the flats. And it's, you're gonna just need to like really grip your shears and really grip your chicken so you don't do any sliding or anything. And uh, the best way is to kind of follow the, the drum and all the way down. And then you could get that right in between the, the joint in the knuckle and sometimes I just kind of crack it a little bit so that I could see and then there we go so then we'll just break this apart and I'm just putting them all in this bowl here and so then when we are ready I'm going to share this fantastic way to cook these and actually I'm going to tell you right now we're baking these okay I've done it twice I fry them and I bake them okay Frying is messy and it's got like a whole ton of calories. Okay, we don't need to do that. We're going to make the healthier choice. And I'm not kidding you. You guys, when you bake these, they taste better than when you fry them. I'm not joking. So there's a trick though on how to bake them so they come out crispy and moist and juicy. The worst thing you can do is overcook your chicken wings and they become chewy or dry or hard as a rock. Stay tuned. And let me get these things cut up and we'll jump right to frying them. I mean, we'll jump right to baking them. Okay, so I want to give you guys a, a close up here. Here's a little wing. And we're throwing this piece away or discarding it for now. Okay, and then here's the back end. Here's the drum and here's the flat. And I'm going to kind of hold on to the flat here. And here's that drum and I'm going to follow the bone this way. So I'm going to take my scissors here, and there we go. Okay, so I got all these cut up, and now if you see, I'm laying these all out on a paper towel. And I know, I know it's probably thinking you're wasting this paper towel. No, but you need to because your chicken wings need to be dry. Okay, so that's all part of the cooking process is to really try to dry them off as much as possible. So spend a little time and really try to dry them off. Okay, so drying the chicken was the first trick. Second trick, you guys, is we're gonna salt this and put baking powder on here, aluminum-free baking powder. I did not know it, but you have to look for aluminum-free. Um, I didn't know there's a difference. So this is actually, um, this is still that clobber, clobber brand, but it's, it's, it's Rumford baking powder. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to maybe work in batches because you want to evenly distribute. So I'm moving some of the chicken in here and I got a nice big bowl. And, um, so I'm going to go ahead. This is about half in here. I'm going to go ahead and give this a good salt. And maybe like about a half of a tablespoon because guys you don't want to you don't want to like totally coat your chicken in this you just want it to be kind of like a light dusting 
like this. Okay, so I'm going to leave a little bit more in here and I'm going to add some more chicken here on top because I want to make sure that everybody gets covered. Let's see here. Whoops. Got to make sure you clean everything up good, you guys. We're dealing with all this chicken. Okay, so I, this looks good. Now, I only put a half a tablespoon, and I'm going to put the other half a tablespoon in here to make it a whole total of one tablespoon because, y'all, I have two packages of chicken wings in here. I think it's like a total of about 32 pieces because each chicken wing is two pieces. Okay, so one more little, little, this looks really nice. See, there's everybody, I think, is nice and a little dusted. This looks great. Okay, uh, let's get to the next step. We need a, a baking sheet, put aluminum foil on it, and then you need like a wire rack, okay? I'm going to place the wire rack on here. And with some olive oil cooking spray, go ahead and spray the, the rack here so that your chicken doesn't stick. So this is two-part process. The first process is we're going to put this in the oven on 250 degrees for just 30 minutes, okay? Your wings won't be done, but that's the first process. And what we'll do is we're going to lay all these chicken wings on here and just get them all lined up. And the reason why we're cooking them on 250 for 30 minutes is because that low temperature is actually going to dry like the skin out even more. And it allows the, the fat to penetrate with this baking powder. And somehow, some way, guys, it helps get your chicken wings moist and crispy. So this first step. So stay tuned. I'm going to get these in the oven 30 minutes on 250. And then I'll show you what we're going to do next with them. While the wings are in the oven, we're going to get our, our hot sauce ready. Okay, y'all, this Buffalo Wild Wing Sauce came from the internet. And I wish, it's like a copycat recipe. I wish I could credit somebody. But, like, I've seen this recipe, like, a few places around there. So I really can't credit someone. But I certainly can't take credit for it. But I can tell you how to make it because it's so good. It's, like, perfect. For the people who, like, can't take spice, they can take this. And for the people who like really want it spicy, they think it's spicy. I don't know how it works, but you could always like add more of this guy in here if you really wanted a more spicy or, or I don't know what else you guys put in there to really like so you can't fill your mouth or your lips or whatever. You're so cute. I, it's a lot of fun. I like it spicy too. Here we go. This is what goes in here. One cup of Frank's hot sauce. And we'll need one third cup of avocado oil. And I'm gonna have all the directions down below so you can remember this. Okay, then I got one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, and I got a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of cayenne, cayenne pepper. And we're gonna put it all in there. And I also need a half teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And now the idea is to bring this to a bubble and we're going to simmer it for five minutes. Look how nice this is simmering. It's been five minutes. And now we're going to add two teaspoons of water and two teaspoons of cornstarch. And I'm going to whisk this up in here, and then I'm going to add it to the sauce, and I'll get it nice and thick. And now we're going to go ahead then and simmer it again for another five minutes. And y'all, this hot sauce, I know I talked about the spice, but let me tell you, it's delicious. This has like such a, a beautiful flavor. It really does. Can't wait for y'all to, to try this. But oops, our chicken wings are about ready to come out. So this is perfect timing. I'm going to let this now simmer 
for a good five minutes and let's deal with our chicken wings. I'll show you what to do. Okay. Now what we're going to do is crank your temperature up to 425. Okay. This is another 30 minutes, at least for 30 minutes on 425. Before we put these in quickly, just go ahead and turn each one of these um, wings to the other side and back in the oven 425 and you don't have to wait for it to get preheated to 425 so get it going and then go ahead and just flip and stick them back in there and let's check on these in about 30 minutes okay I'm back to my sauce and oh, I was going right up my nose. Okay, so it's been simmering for five minutes. It's thickened. So now I'm going to remove this off the heat and let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay, so the sauce has been cooling for about 10 minutes. And what I've done now is I have an egg yolk. Okay, I put one egg yolk in this cool bowl. And so then I'm going to slowly pour this hot sauce into here and whisk at the same time and just like a really slow little drip here okay i tried to get all this sauce out of here i don't want to waste any bit of it okay so our chicken wings aren't ready and so what we want to do is we're going to cover this keep it covered now, if you're not going to put it right on your, on your chicken wings, like you can leave this out on the counter covered for like about an hour. Otherwise, then just put it in the refrigerator and bring it out then when you're ready to, you know, just your chicken. But, I mean, most people are ready to roll. We're ready to eat those wings. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cover this, and we'll be ready to, to mix it in in a minute. Gonna be good. Okay, guys, my alarm's going off. It's been 30 minutes. And oh, I wish y'all could smell these. They smell so good. Now they're looking pretty crispy. And it's really hard to stick a thermometer in there because they're so little. And so I think just the best way to do it is to oh, look, it's crispy, is to take a peek and oh look can you see that okay that's done that's perfect i'm taking these babies out so these these are nice and crispy guys okay so now i'm just going to go ahead you don't want to dump all your hot sauce in here but depending on how spicy you like it and Give it a toss. Thanks for watching, you guys. Remember, like my channel, hit the sub subscribe button, and leave me a comment, and let me know you're eating these chicken wings. Oh my gosh, all I have to say to you guys is, let's get this party started. Mm.